Hi everybody, I am currently in my parents' backyard, traipsing around in the woods behind their house, looking for things that are coming out in spring, which includes some skunk cabbage, also some seeds coming out, and there's also a lot of moss because it's wetlands back here. So I'm just gonna show you a couple of things that I am finding while I'm traipsing around back here. All right, so I've mentioned this in previous videos, but this is skunk cabbage. Skunk cabbage comes up right in the early spring, especially in marshy areas like this. It does something called cyanide resistant cellular respiration, which is super cool because it heats up the soil around it so that it can even flower when the ground is still frozen. So it comes up really early and it can raise the temperature. I think it's up to 13 to 65 degrees, um, which is a lot, especially for a little plant like this. If you look closely, you can see that there is skunk cabbage popping up pretty much everywhere. We got some there and some there. Also, more right over here. And finding stuff is all about looking really closely. So this guy is really tiny down here. But you can see it's coming out of the leaf litter. I'm not sure what this guy is. Now there are a lot of oaks in this area, so here we have a ton of acorns from all of those. And the cool thing is, is, if you look closely, you can see some of these breaking open and germinating. So some of these might turn into trees. They'll have to compete with a lot of the surrounding trees in order to get sunlight once the leaves are out. But I just love the bright red color that you can see on the inside, which is very, very cool. Now I mentioned that there are a lot of mosses around here. So if you can see, hopefully it's in focus, you can see the sporophytes coming off of this moss, which is those little like pokey things with the heads on them that are tilted down. That's how they produce more moss. If you're more interested in the life cycle of mosses, I do have a video about that. I'll put a link, but they are different from flowers and those are the sporophytes and that's how they reproduce. I can't get any closer because I am not wearing boots and that is water, but on that log right there, you can see some pretty cool fungus. Unfortunately, I'm not a mycologist, so I can't tell you exactly what it is, but it's grown on this big decomposing tree right here that fell quite some time ago. And over here we have tons more skunk cabbage, skunk cabbage everywhere. There's more some there, some there. And some there. Give it a couple weeks, couple months, there will be big leaves on these guys that'll be a lot more visible from a distance. All right, hopefully you enjoyed seeing a couple of things that I'm finding. I'm going out and um, taking photographs. So I figured it'd be fun to take you guys along. If you like coming along on adventures where I'm just looking for stuff in woods or wherever I am, definitely let me know and I can do some more of these. And thanks so much for watching. Check out links in the description for any of the info that I have mentioned. Thanks for watching and see you next time.